Hey, what's up guys? It's Nathan, Fish ATX. Today I am installing my Noqua 10 amp battery to my Garmin Striker. I'm not expert at this by any means, but it uh, seems pretty simple. So uh, I'm gonna try to walk you through it as I do it. Okay, so I have my Garmin power cable here and I stripped down the wires um, and twisted it. So I have that, and then I have the cable that comes with the Noqua, um, the power supply. It comes already pre-stripped, ready to go, and it comes with the heat shrinking tubes and this other heat shrinking tube, butt connectors, heat shrinking tube. On the Garmin, it has this blue and um, brown wire, uh, which is for like communication stuff, and I just taped it back, so I don't use it. Um, so pretty much we're just going to put this uh, butt connectors for each one and um, connect it and it should be good to go. Before you start heat shrinking tube, just put it on one of the sides. The Garmin has that yellow piece so it's a little harder to put on there. So I'm going to put it on this one. I don't think it matters which color first. Let's just do red. So pretty much that's gonna go in here. That's gonna go in here. And we're gonna clamp it and then heat shrink it. And then we do the black. Excessively clamp those, but better be safe than sorry. So I'm gonna go ahead and just check the connection um, before I go any further. Before I shrink all this tubing with the liner and stuff, everyone else just does it and then checks it. I'm like, what if something went wrong? So I'm gonna go ahead and check it first. So I have the battery. This is the Noqua power cable. Just connects like that. And you just twist it in. So that should be good. And that goes to the Garmin cable. That goes into the back. Like that. And I charged this before, so this is moment of truth. Looks like we got power. I did it right, guys. It's that simple. So, tiny little battery, 10 amp gonna last forever um, and Garmin Striker so it's ready to go so now I'm gonna shrink all this stuff up connect from my battery to the side hey buddy whoa this thing's on like max power here calm down shrunk down to the wire helps it uh to stay kind of more watertight and then you slip this tubing over and do the same thing when i cut this tubing i saw a lot of people just leave the full thing on there but it's super excessive so i'm just going to get it in the middle here and uh, melt it down. So. Start from the center. Shrunk on there, secure. And check the power one more time, just to ensure I didn't mess anything up as I was doing this. 
let it cool down for a second. Connection, moment of truth. I love that sound. There it is, guys. Noqua installation, super easy. If I can do it, anyone can do it because I have no idea what I'm doing. Besides the Garmin, I'm going to be powering the USB connector. So you have to get the Y, y connector as well. So let's get this out. So it's pretty simple. It's just uh, splits the power between this one battery. So I haven't read instructions, but I'm assuming all you do is hook it up. Like that. And then now you have two power sources. So you can connect one to the Garmin as such. I'll have these little caps to make sure everything's secure. I really like the quality of this, this Nokia battery. And then you have the USB adapter. So the adapter looks like this. <clears throat> Just another cable to the power. And then here's the adapter. And it has this nice little like silicone cap and two plugins. So this one is for um, like smartphones. If I say denser charge, the A1 and the 2A port is for tablets and a faster charge. Um, so, and this is gonna go into my front hatch of my kayak. Uh, you just drill like a thing that's a one and one eighth hole. Yeah, one and one eighth diameter hole into the kayak. Slide this on the back and it'll be a tight connection. And then I'll have power. So let's try this out just real quick. Yes, it's pink, rose gold. Don't judge me, it's my wife's. Um, Okay, so I have the Garmin. Let's plug this sucker in. The USB. Let's plug this sucker in. Tighten the cap. Boom, we got power here. So you can go a step further. So this two's for tablets. Plug that in. Okay guys, so here you got the fish finder. So I'm finding fish on my kayak and I can get on my tablet, watch some movie or something. I'll never do that, but uh, it's mainly for my iPhone or my GoPro um, charging. Those batteries don't last with crap. So yeah, this is really cool. Um, but you can do this so easily. And of course, all these wires are gonna go through my kayak. You're not gonna see any of them besides just popping out at the fish finder. So very cool, Noqua 10 amp. I'm not sponsored by them. I don't work for them, with them, whatever. Um, my friend does and she hooked me up with a nice little discount. So message me, maybe I can do the same for you. But besides that, I just really recommend this, uh, this battery. And as I fish, I'm gonna keep it uh, updating y'all on how long it lasts, I've heard the 10 amp can last multiple days, six, seven hour trips, which is amazing. So I'll keep you updated. As always, thank y'all for watching and check out, I will be doing install on all of this into my kayak, my new uh, native Slayer in another video. So check that out. I appreciate it guys. Bye.